Members of the Barrio, today we'll be sharing what's new in New York City in 2022. So whether you're a tourist or a local, you're gonna get a lot of great ideas from this video, trust me. There's a new spa opening on Governor's Island, which is just a stone's throw away from the bottom of Manhattan by ferry. And if you haven't been there already, this could be the excuse you need to go. The new spa is called QC. Now, New York's not normally thought of as a spa destination, but with views like that, it could very well turn into one. They'll have outdoor infinity pools, steam rooms, saunas, indoor treatments. Admission will start at $88 and it's scheduled to open in the next few months. It is 21 plus only. So if you wanna visit Governor's Island just to walk around or to go for a bike ride, you can add some spa treatment to the list as well. This is a really exciting new thing coming to New York City next year. Anthony Bourdain inspired street food stalls are coming to the Big Apple. And like many of you watching, I was a huge fan of his work. One of his dreams was to open up a Singaporean style hawker center in New York City, but there's good news. It's coming this year to Midtown Manhattan. It's going to open at 135 West 50th Street, a recently renovated office building with 18 street food vendors. I can't wait for this to open. This is something you would expect to be, I don't know, in Queens, but coming to Midtown Manhattan, it's gonna give a lot of tourists and first time visitors to New York City a chance to experience some of the great food culture that this town is really well known for. Now, if that got you hungry, I've got some good news. There is a new indoor food market that just opened in Chinatown that isn't getting the publicity that it deserves. Check out Ma Street Eatery and special shout out to Action Kid for letting me use his footage of the grand opening. Has 10 stalls with seven vendors currently in place. You've got plenty of options from duck to dim sum, pastries, and a whole lot more. If you're not sure where to eat on your next trip to Manhattan's Chinatown, Mott Street Eatery could be your best play just to sample a lot of different locally owned businesses in Chinatown. Give it a look. There's a new money heist pop-up in Brooklyn right now. And I'm only bringing this up because I've got so many comments that I look like this character Berlin from Casa de Papel on Netflix. And you'll live out the first ever international robbery in person. Take part in this immersive experience full of special effects and endless surprises. Prices start at $49, running as I said until at least February, but possibly longer. And you know what? That Berlin guy, He's pretty good looking. Where are my Broadway fans at? Next summer, the first ever Museum of Broadway is gonna be opening up, no surprise, right in the theater district. The museum will offer visitors an immersive, one-of-a-kind experience per the New York Times. A space is slated to include a map room. Another room will deconstruct the history and format of the musical genre more broadly, and visitors can even explore a mock backstage area for a glimpse into the sheer labor and production expertise that goes into staging a show. This sounds really interesting to me because you're tired of the same old museum experience and you're a big fan of Broadway. Why not pair this with a trip to many of the Broadway shows? And speaking of Broadway, Music Man with Hugh Jackman is finally slated to open in February and many people think it is going to be the hottest new show in New York City. I definitely want to go. I admit I've been as big a critic as anybody about the status of LaGuardia Airport, but let me tell you, they are making some absolutely incredible changes there. Construction of Delta Airlines new Terminal C arrivals and departures hall is advancing towards an opening likely in spring 2022. The 1.3 million square foot terminal will feature 37 new gates when complete. I flew to Chicago from LaGuardia last summer and I couldn't believe my eyes how much things have changed. Well, it's only getting better. The Whitney Biennial. This is one of New York's biggest art events when it happens every two years. Now, the last time it was held was 2019 due to COVID. It was not held last year. So you know this year's version is gonna be huge. This is America's premier survey of contemporary art. It's back between April and August of 2022. So mark it on your calendars and hint, hint, located right next door to the Whitney is the High Line. After you check out some incredible art, why not go for a scenic walk 
and one of New York's best free attractions. One of New York's most iconic artists is getting his own exhibit this spring. Jean-Michel Basquiat, never before seen and rarely seen works, will be at the Starrett Lehigh Building in Chelsea. The exhibit is being put together by his sisters who run his estate. He passed away in 1988 and yet his legacy still lives on strong. And if you're a huge fan of Basquiat's work, head to Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn where his grave site is one of the most visited in the entire cemetery. And let me tell you, Greenwood Cemetery is worth a trip by itself, one of New York's best unknown attractions. Let's keep up on the museum front. The Italian American Museum is reopening in the fall of 2022. Now it's been closed for a number of years now to expand to six times its original size. And no shocker, it is going to be located in the heart of Manhattan's Little Italy. So why not learn more about the Italian American experience? And when you're done there and you want my best recommendation for food in Little Italy, go to Cafe Napoli. You will not be disappointed. Rise NY. This is for all those families watching who are looking for more of an immersive experience to bring the kids to. Explore museum style galleries that transport you through the city's expansive pop culture evolution, then fly over the iconic skyline on a soaring ride that suspends you 30 feet in the air. There's also an immersive film narrated by Jeff Goldblum. Tickets start at $28 for adults. While I don't think I'll be going to this myself, I do think this could be interesting for families, especially because it's located in the heart of Midtown Manhattan. Maybe the kids want something a little bit more exhilarating. We've got a lot to discuss on the observation deck front. Now, if you missed my video about Summit 1 Vanderbilt, which opened towards the end of 2021, it's the hottest attraction right now in New York City. And it's my favorite observation deck because not only do you have those sweeping views of the skyline, but it also includes an immersive art experience, which is perfect for this age of Instagram and TikTok. But I do have to say that I've received some complaints from you guys about Summit being overcrowded and lines taking very long to proceed. Now, I think it's because it's so new and many of you visited during the peak holiday period, but do tell me down below in the comments what your experience was like at Summit. Because of Summit's success, we're seeing a bit of an arms race for all the observation decks to upgrade. And we'll start with the edge, adding something called City Climb. Now, City Climb is the highest open air building ascent in the world. And the crowning moment of this is leaning out 1,200 feet above New York City for some selfies at the paltry sum of $185. So you better nail those photos because they're not coming cheap. There's a really wild proposal that's recently been submitted by Top of the Rock to upgrade to get this. Do you remember the iconic photo lunch atop a skyscraper? It's one of the most famous photos of New York City ever taken. Well, what if you had the opportunity to relive that experience? The proposed attraction would pack guests on a replica steel beam, elevate them into the air for selfies, and then rotate around to provide a panoramic view of the city. It's just a proposal, but if it does go through, I'm really curious to check it out. I'm not a really big nightlife person anymore, but when I was, I loved the unique themed parties that House of Yes threw in Bushwick, Brooklyn. A sister club to House of Yes just opened called House of X. And while it's not as big as House of Yes, it has all of their hallmarks like aerial performers, theme parties. So if you're looking for something unique to do in Manhattan and you don't want to go to your standard meatpacking district nightclub, check out House of X instead. Any video ideas you guys have got for 2022, leave them in the comments as well. So excited to bring you some amazing content in the new year. Thank you so much for watching as always. Till next time.